Hey guys, it's Leslie and welcome back to my channel. I feel even slightly more out of practice than from the last video I did. I don't know if it's just I'm uncomfortable doing like a legitimate book video or what, but anyway, we're gonna make it work. So I guess this video is just going to be the books that I'm planning to read for the rest of the month. I have been real terrible at sticking to any TBRs, so, you know, I've been not so great at sticking to any TBRs and my mood changes quickly in regards to reading, so this is a tentative plan, but we'll see. All, all of the books that I have, I checked out from the library, so obviously I have a shortish amount of time that I'm supposed to have them read. I also tend to check out a ton of books from the library and read one or none of them. So, you know, a lot of disclaimers before we start this. Let's just get into the one that I have read already. And that is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Uh, this book actually has a bunch of Christmas books. I assume they're all Charles Dickens which to be honest, I had no idea he even wrote other Christmas, like a short story type things. Um, mm. But I only got this to really read A Christmas Carol. I love The Muppets Christmas Carol. It's like one of my favorite movies probably and definitely one of my favorite Christmas movies. And I had never read the actual story. Um, it's really short and this book is only like 80 some pages and there are even some pictures. So that was nice. I really liked it. I don't think I've read a lot of Victorian literature. I, I'm not quite sure that the language is for everyone. I mean, I think that's probably the biggest drawback for people who say they don't ever read classics is because the language is kind of tough. This one, because the story is so memorable, it's pretty, you know, there's no, it's not hard to read. But the next book I'm going to talk about, the language is a little tougher to just sink yourself into the story because it does make you think a little bit but so this one I liked obviously a five out of five it's a Christmas Carol it's not much to say the next book I have already started reading and this is also a Victorian novel is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte I talked about this in the video I just did and it's just one that I've wanted to read. Clearly this picture makes it look like it's a uh, wintry time. So why not? We just had a major snowstorm yesterday. My kid's school was canceled first day back from break and they didn't even have to go. So what a perfect book to read. But overall, it's not like I'm having a hard time reading it, but it does take just a tiny bit more concentration because I'm out of practice of reading anything that's, you know, not modern day writing. Um, I am liking it though, but finally now at 50 pages in, it seems like we're getting into the meat of the story. And I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by the characters. Anyway, I hope to finish this soon. The book that I did just check out, which is I think a brand new release, like maybe just released in the last couple of weeks or last month, um, is Virgil Wander by Leif Anger. This is a book that I don't know a ton about. I read a blurb and I was just intrigued. It's a guy who gets like in a car accident and then he's sort of stranded in a town off Lake Superior and I'm from Michigan. So, you know, close to home-ish, but not really like Lake Superior is like lots of miles away from me. But, um, the, it's a, kind of about the town and how the people he meet. I think this is just going to be a very character driven book, which I like and I'm in the mood for. I know that Leifanger wrote a book called Peace Like a River, which I have not read, but Katie over at Life Between Words, um, she loves that book and I've been meaning to read it. I just haven't. So I'm kind of skipping to his newest book, hoping to like it and maybe that will push me to read the other book. But this is a seven day loan in my library so I have to kind of get on this one quickly if I want to read it now. The next two books are both nonfiction. I 
know that nonfiction November was going on. Obviously, we're at the end of November, but whatever. And so I've seen some TBRs, and I'm curious about some of the books. So um, one that I had heard about through some TBRs was The Feather Thief by Kirk Wallace Johnson. Uh, this is about like a heist from I think 2009. Uh, yeah, about a guy who just stole some feathers from a library in London, I believe. And I don't know, it's about some guy's obsession with possibly fly fishing. I don't know. Clearly, I don't know what I'm doing here. But it sounded really interesting. This cover is beautiful. And I guess this is sort of like true crime mixed with history. I don't know. I'm curious about it. So I'm gonna give it a go. It's not super long. I'm, I'm really interested in this. It feels like something I would never pick up. I would have probably never heard of if I had not seen something on booktube. The other nonfiction book I picked up, book popped up called The Marriage Bureau. The true story of how two matchmakers arranged love in wartime London. It's no surprise on this channel. I'm obsessed with World War II history. And this sounds really interesting. They basically have like a arranged marriage type thing that these two women decided to open. And it just sounds, I don't know, it just sounds weird and interesting. So I'm interested to check this one out. Um, it's by Penrose Halson. Is that the cutest name? Penrose? Come on. That's so cute. Anyway, I'm curious about this one. And the last book that I have that I would like to get through in December is My True Love Gave to Me. This is, you know, a YA compilation. This was huge last year, I guess. I don't know. It's really old, so I don't know. But it's just a bunch of, like, short stories by a bunch of different YA authors that are all holiday-themed. And, I mean, come on. Why wouldn't you want to read just a cute little story around Christmas? I am going on vacation at the middle of the month. So this one should be easy for me to just read while I'm either on the plane or, you know, before I go to bed or something like that because it's short little stories and I don't have to like be super invested because I'm going to Disney World and that is not a place that's super relaxing, especially when you're, when you're taking your kids. So there's that. Oh, the last book that I don't have on here that I actually did buy on my Kindle is The Bear and the Nightingale. Um, that's just such a super wintry book. I don't know if I'll get to it this month. Maybe it'll be something I push into January, I guess. Um, but we'll see. And also, Robert over at Barter Hordes, who has a great channel, if you want to like learn, you need to watch his channel because he's so smart, like super smart. And super well-spoken, he's eloquent, he knows what's up. But he's doing like a classics book club and I think they're reading The Jungle by Upton Sinclair, I believe. Who's Lewis Sinclair? Is that a person? That seems like a person, but I think it's Upton Sinclair. Somebody Sinclair wrote The Jungle and I've been wanting to read it, but I feel like it's got a lot of, I don't know, there's something about it that kind of scares me to read it so I feel like along with the book club might be the perfect time to read it so I guess we will see this TBR is a little disjointed and who actually knows if I decide to read the books that I've just picked out maybe I'll do a Harry Potter reread since Harry Christmas to you is going on you know anyway that's a really random TBR. This video is gonna suck to edit because I haven't made any sense. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Also, if you have a recommendation for a camera, I'm maybe hoping to save any like birthday money I get. Well, my birthday's coming up, it's in February, but birthday money or Christmas money towards an actual like nice camera. I film on my phone which is fine and it's super easy but I'd like a nice camera so if you have any suggestions or if you have one that you really like let me know
beyond that, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And hopefully I'll have another video coming soon. Bye!